beautiful young actress with a promising career, a jealous ex-boyfriend with a volatile temper, one fatal encounter. Number 16, the murder of Dominique Dunn. Dominique Dunn was destined to enter show business. Her father was author Dominic Dunn, and her brother was actor Griffin Dunn. In 1981, Dominique's acting career was in full bloom. The future co-star of Poltergeist was about to hit the big time. She was a young, aspiring actress. She had an innocence about her that was amazing. That same year, she met executive chef John Sweeney at a birthday party. The two quickly became inseparable. And Sweeney was known as uh, having a hot temper, and uh, a lot of Dominique's friend, friends didn't really care for him very much. By the summer of 1982, Dominique became the target of Sweeney's violent outbursts. Sweeney beat the crap out of her. She thought she was going to die. He choked her unconscious, banged her head on the floor, did all this. I, I was absolutely blown away. I couldn't believe it. On October 30th, Dominique told Sweeney their rocky relationship was over for good. He did not take the news well. That night, Dominique was at her Hollywood home rehearsing scenes with actor friend David Packer. Sweeney arrived at the front door. According to the police report, this is what happened next. She leaves her friend inside, goes out, and, and they get into this fight. Mr. Packer said he then heard loud noises, a loud conversation coming from the front porch. At some point, Sweeney lost it, lunged at her. They fell off the porch, up to the side, into the bushes, and he had his hands around her throat. Started choking her here. She started screaming. He then went next door, down this driveway. All the time going down this direction, he's choking her. But to me, the shocking thing was that someone could have been inside the house, heard her scream, I believe, and didn't go out and do anything to try and stop it. The police report states that Packer came outside and saw Sweeney kneeling over Dominique in the next door neighbor's yard. At that point, John Sweeney told him to call the police and commit a terrible crime. At 8.52 p.m., a frantic David Packer called the police. Sweeney stayed at Dominique's side, trying to give her resuscitation. At some point, the police arrived and plucked him out from the driveway. Police reports state that Sweeney told the deputies, I've killed my girlfriend. You know, it's a very personal way to kill someone, because you're really looking right at them. However, Dominique was still alive. Following the attack, she slipped into a coma. And she's on life support for, like, almost a week. And, uh, and the family finally, after this agonizing week, uh, decided to pull the plug. On November 4th, 1982, Dominique Dunn died, just three weeks shy of her 23rd birthday. Something like this should not happen to a girl like that. It was extraordinarily shocking. And this was one of those obsession cases. If her boyfriend couldn't have her, she couldn't have life as well. Sweeney was charged with murder. But during the trial, his lawyers claimed Sweeney killed Dominique in the heat of passion. On November 10, 1983, he was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Sweeney was sentenced to six and a half years in prison. It's without a doubt the worst trial that I've ever participated in in 30 years. I was absolutely stunned when I heard the verdict. I was furious. I was enraged. Sweeney served less than three years. I think she had tremendous potential, and um, I think she was a very special girl. It's really incredibly sad, and it's our loss. Coming up. A horrifying murder that continues to haunt Hollywood.